in addition to the um, technologies, we tried to go for quite an experimental approach in using as much passive heating and cooling in the design as we could. We're very, very lucky in that we're orientated completely south, so um, we have a, a, a very good solar access. We've also got a passive solar um, chimney or glass box, is the way I describe it, which is a triple glazed inner, so the envelope um, of the house is controllable by the triple glazing and the outer envelope of that glass box is a single glazed um, frame. Um, it's also got Welch, black Welch slate in the bottom of the glass box which absorbs the heat and creates a current within that area. The top, at the top of the glass box there's opening windows so the stratification of the air within that space lifts naturally and if we open the windows at the top in the summertime that's a, a passive cooling um, strategy so in the summertime we'll open the tilt and slide windows on the triple glaze and on the inside and then we'll open the um, the upper window in the glass box which creates that current and it draws out any heat from the from the house in the winter time we keep those top windows closed and on sunny winter days we can open the triple glazing and let that um, heat that's been generated within that structure into the house and then close the triple glazing again um, and hence that traps that little bit of heat in. And I have seen that, that we've got temperature gauges on the wall. I've seen the temperature gauges lift by a degree and then we close the windows and it stays there within the, uh, with, the, with the aid of the mechanical ventilation. So I think that this idea of is it, is it mechanical ventilation or is it passive? I think in this house particularly it's actually a combination of the two. I don't think one would work on its own and I don't think the other one would work completely on its own. Um, I think they work in kind of harmony at different times depending on what the weather's doing. The experiment with the glass box and the passive solar, uh, passive heating and cooling, um, it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a manual process, the actual um, adding heat to the, to the house, so it's, it's not an automatic process, so that could be improved, I guess. It, it's very, what it's very, very successful um, in doing is cooling. We don't get any um, situation where we're we're creating overheating within the house, and this is quite this is quite interesting because we do have a thermal store within the house. Um, so in the summertime, when the sun's shining, there's lots of gain coming into the house, including the the kind of radiant heat from the solar, from the solar thermal store, um, and because we we can just put the house into this kind of passive cooling mode, that aspect of the design has been incredibly successful.